Welcome back to GG No Re. I am PM Magellan, leader of the Pirate Mafia, manager of Rule and Salt, CPUP of Defiance, chief consultant of editing for Defiance. Now, this is episode 21.2. Episode 21 was taken down by a fucking snowflake, fucking moron named Kushin. Um, let's get into it. Drop a sub. Now, as I mentioned in the intro, episode 21 was taken down by Kushin. Apparently he thinks he's above ending up on my show. Um, you're going to end up on it again. There's many people aware of the situation and it's going to get handled the way it gets handled. Um... Now, how did this all happen? So, there's about a minute's worth of Kushin's explanation on how that shaky cannon that keeps locking on to something in Yuckening's uh, clip. Um, he's attempting to recreate whatever it is. Um, and he does a piss poor job. Somehow Yuckening gets fucking unbanned and they're trying to cover up their tracks, right? Yuckening has deleted all the content off of his Twitch. Um, and they're just going about this as if they actually deserve to fucking play in that League of Thieves bullshit, whatever that bullshit recreation of the NAL is. All those recreations are fucking shit that bullshit that went down at old salt at all fucking trash where i give to pick up the anchor to win or some shit absolute fucking trash um that fucking sloop comp uh that pay ray ended up winning another fucking trash competition league of thieves more fucking trash bunch of lame motherfuckers fucking that have too much fucking time on their hands uh, out here fucking playing a video game seven days a week. Fucking pathetic. If you're a grown-ass man, you shouldn't fucking have time for that shit. Um, now, uh, in regards to the video getting taken down, you know, that affects a lot. There is a, a strike on my channel now. Um, I've cut 290 videos. Never had one copyright strike ever in my life. Um, now there's one on there. So this affects, you know, me, this affects everyone. There's people that wait on that video to come out, believe it or not. There's people that enjoy the content. You know, we're, we've grown significantly in the last year. Um, and we're trying to push towards a thousand now. Um, the clip itself of Kushin recreating the, uh, lame ass excuse for the fucking closet cheat. Um, I believe might have been like an unlisted video that he shared publicly. And I believe like the site that the link was from was like YouTube mate or something like that. So it's like, I guess a site where you can, uh, recover people's videos or whatever it is. I don't know what the fuck it is. It's just not normal YouTube. Um, so it, it, it's a minor setback for the channel. You know, the videos are doing good. They're getting about a thousand views a pop now. Um, and this is just more time and more resources, uh, where I can be just enjoying my day off right now, right? It's fucking, it's 10, 15 in the morning and I'm sitting here making another fucking video in a seven day time span instead of just enjoying my fucking day off, right? I do this for you guys, for you guys to enjoy. There's people that like the content, you know, but there's always going to be haters, right? People that try and set you back. Um, and that's what Kushin is. He's just a fucking hater. Someone with too much time on their hands to be competing, practicing, scrimming, qualifying, you know, I mean, honestly, I hope you just lose whatever tournament this is. Uh, it's honestly, I just hope that's what happens. Um, it'd be good karma. 
Because cheaters shouldn't be allowed to compete. Cheaters shouldn't be allowed to win. And what you guys are doing is you're covering up your tracks with trying to fucking sweep everything under the rug. But that's what my show does. We bring things to light and uh, we make the people aware. Um, If you don't like my shit, don't fucking watch it. You know, but a copyright strike, I mean... I mean, that's just going to get you camped. People are going to camp you. That's all that's going to happen here. Um, And then it's going to get back to me and you're going to be on the show no matter what. So I don't get what fucking copyright strike fucking does, you know, aside from piss me off and take away the viewing experience from a bunch of people. So um, moving on. Execution motherfuckers, a fucking snowflake. But on the bright side of things, they got Captain Sterling. How you doing? <laughs> we got to liven up the mood here, right? I'm being a little bit serious, right? We we caught ourselves a flamingo, <laughs> right? Eight eggs pulls up on him. How you doing? Okay. <laughs> Grabs him by those skinny ass legs. <laughs> Grabs him by that long ass flamingo neck. <laughs> you know, starts twisting his neck, two tapping him and all that. You know, <laughs> let's take a look at what I'm talking about here. <laughs> Drop a sub.
now it is what it is. Sterling is a high level, high level guy, high level player, but I mean, clearly can't do shit against eight eggs. <laughs> You know, I want to thank you, Eight Eggs, for for this. Uh, I know there's a lot of support right now for me, and uh, and for what's going on out here, and and I uh, and I honestly, um, I'm grateful that I got a, a bunch of people that have my back and shit like that on this, because uh, getting my video taken down because some dude thinks he's above ending up on my show is absolutely fucking ridiculous. Like anyone can end up on here. Like, I'm not targeting you. We're just delivering the news, bro. Like, one day you're on it, the next day you're not. It ain't that big of a deal. Uh, yeah. Moving on here. Now it's time for everyone's favorite segment, the community clip. How you doing? Okay. <laughs> Now, there's been some people flying around for quite a while now, you know, dropping kegs, and teleportation issues, um, insta ladder issues, all types of different things going on, right? There was uh, Athenaware and um, maybe Black Witch and uh, other other uh cheats you know i don't know all the names of them cmh things like this um and we're a few days away from that patch you know like what are we gonna see are we gonna see you know the war continue between people making the cheats selling them and the de and the devs of rare finally pulling it together and giving us giving us uh a cheat free game we're not really sure, but it was a small tribute to the people that play with these cheats and enjoy them like the gaming experience with them. Let's just take a quick look at uh at what some people had to endure uh in this hourglass. Let's take a look at what I'm talking about here. Claim 
Now? With a patch being a few days out, season 10 being a few days out, what will we see? Will we... Will the seas be safer? Will it get more dangerous? Are the coders making sheets already locked and loaded, ready for season 10? And all they need to make is a few minor adjustments. There's a lot of catering going on to the new players, but there's not a lot of catering going on to the dedicated pirates of the sea that continue to play your game. So, from those of you suffering from PTSD with kegs getting dropped on you, maybe this is something you don't have to worry about anymore. Alright, maybe this is the dawn of a new era. Uh, an era where they're less focused on taking people's money in the Emporium and more focused on putting money towards uh, things the player base can be proud of, right? That was the community clip. If you're interested in seeing your clip in the community clip, just get a hold of me. Find a way to get a hold of me. We'll see what we can do. Some people are sad. Some people are happy. Okay, one of those people's happy feet. How you doing? Okay. <laughs> they got happy feet. Why the fuck is my phone going crazy? Like, this is women for you. You know, you, 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 you. You give them, you give them your number, and then they just abuse that privilege, right? How you doing? <laughs> now, happy feet, sailing around with Cam. Now, I, I think we've all made the mistake of picking on a galleon. Okay, I, I mean, and 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 it's usually. It's usually a successful thing. For the most part, a sloop can easily fuck up a galleon. No problem. Generally speaking. But there's always, there's always that one, there's always that one time. Okay? Let's take a look at what I'm talking about here. I'm blowing him out of it. Those are guardian sales, by the way? Yeah. Oh, it might be, uh, what's his face? Whenever I see those sails in a galleon, I always think of a. Uh, forgot his name. Player. You have to guard it. Yep. You have to turn around for him, by the way. Oh, I'm dead. Someone else got on cam. I did not hear it. I'm dead. GG. No, no, I didn't hear him. Me neither. Man, that's wild. He got on the left ladder. I didn't hear him. Who's collected time. Marvel TCG? I didn't know there was Marvel TCG either. Yeah, I didn't know that was still a thing. The launch? Yeah, oh, that's what they did? That's cool of them. Oh, I don't know. I don't know if they did the launch or not. But yeah, there's two peeps on our boat. I know about Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, and the other one, yeah. Killed one. I got one, I think. Did you, the one you shot off the ladder, did you get that guy? No, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. I got three people on our boat, by the way. Oh, God. Uh, Sloop v. Galley type shit, I guess. Unfortunate. Yeah, I only heard one shootout. 
Hello, one dude. Good fight, guys. Good fight, good fight. Yep. So there's two more? Mm -hmm. I'm here. I whiffed. Oh, one of them is a fat fucking pirate, dude. <laughs> I, I will after oh, this, right. Cookie. I'll take a look. Uh. <laughs> One of them's a fat naked pirate. That's unfortunate as fuck. Are you dead? Yeah. I gotta wait for you. I mean, we'll probably sink by the point, but whatever. No, we're, the water was low. We're just kind of just letting it happen. <clears throat> Those were Lord Guardian, right? I think so. Oh, you can I'm eat it, I think it is. Go. Anytime I see yeah. Lord Guardian Galleon, I think it's Yuke. I don't think this is him. Maybe not. Dead. I killed half a feet. your fat friend. Definitely not Yuke. No, hell no, it ain't. Yo, Cheetah, what's up? We know when it's open. Uh, yeah, we'll do. I, I think they're just gonna camp us, but I wanna, I wanna make sure they do. Nope. Oh God, sirens. No! I'm paying. No, I'm paying. No, I'm paying. What? Oh, that's why I'm black screen right now. Wait, where are you? Oh, they're... They're actually, like, spawn camping us, just so you know. No, I, I, I already figured. Wait, are you dead? Yeah, uh, now I am. Alright, we can bounce if you want. Well, what do you... Do you I mean, care? we're not gonna break out of a four, four man versus two here. Well, I won't lie, bro. I think, I think one of them's being funny, you know? But... They what? Not I may or may not. Yeah, we go to the next one. E Gs. Hopefully they don't have a funny list. Now it's honestly unfortunate how this went down. I, I, I mean, I know Happy and Cam are a good duo, and and I mean, I didn't hear the board on the other side of the of the fucking sloop. I don't think you guys did. They definitely didn't. So this is just uh, an unfortunate situation that they found themselves in and you know happy's one of the happy feet is one of those players you know uh so dedicated pirate dedicated uh sailor you know so so when rare does all these things to fucking help new players you know uh it doesn't help someone like happy feet it doesn't help someone like cam it doesn't help the people they play with right they're not playing with brand new players these are People that love the game, veterans of the game, and this is a great moment where an anti-cheat would come in handy. You know, whether that was a silent board or insta board or whatever that was right there. I mean, they clearly got caught in a, in a situation they couldn't overcome and couldn't control. Um, either way... Uh, We'll see what Rare does about this. I know there's a big update coming out here uh, this week. And uh, we'll see. We can only hope for the best. Absent is back. That's right, Absent. One of the godfathers of controller TDM. 
And he's not alone. Okay, he's brought back Skull with him. That's right, Skull Crush. Skull, one of the original OGs of TDM. If you don't know who Skull and Absent are, and you TDM, you're TDMing because they started doing it. That's why you TDM. It's being said he might have... He might have said he's still the best player. This is what I'm being told. There's a lot of... A lot of players right now aren't taken kindly to... To those words. Uh, I Those are... Those are fighting words these days. The controller scene has gotten extremely competitive... With the help of Sammy Rocks from the Flying Dumpster, these controller tournaments have been happening very regularly. Right? We've got Me Star out here winning controller tournaments. Jay Willow's been placing. It's even been reported that Shawaka's kind of struggling lately. I. Can he beat the average person? Yes. Can he beat the people that are pushing for number one? Shuaka's having issues. Why is Absent back? Why did he bring Skull with him? Are they going to take over the doubles duo controller scene? I do not know. One can only guess they are here to take the throne. How you doing? Okay, they're hitting everything. All right. They're doing those old tactics where one of them hides, one of them baits and gets everyone to start moving around. And then the other guy comes up behind and cleans up everything. They're, they're operating like a pack of hyenas. How you doing? What are Absence motives? Is he here for the number one spot? There's people that say that I'm making this up. Rainier, Rainier got a little bit offended. Okay, Rainier said, oh, Were you in VC? Did you hear him? No. Then how do you know it's them? It's fucking them, motherfucker. Right? Because Skull was saying, there's people on Vandals he doesn't even get along with. Skull was saying, there's people on Vandals he won't play with. He won't talk to. I'm not making this up. This is what he told me. He says there's people on Vandals he don't fuck with. What are the real motives? with this duo, right? Mistar tried getting Skull to join Velocity. Skull said he's better than anyone on Velocity. Why would I join Velocity? This is what Skull said, right? He was like, oh, Archie's solid, you know? You know Archie? He's like, nah, never heard of him. Never heard of Archie. Arch enemy, who the fuck is that? There's a very dangerous duo that just came back to the scene right now. And their names are Skull and Absent. We will monitor this situation. We will see what's going on. I'll try and keep you updated. But the doubles controller scene just got extremely dangerous with the arrival of the Vandals, the original Vendettas. These are two guys we need to look out for. Hide your fruit snacks. Hide your baby mama. Up here offline. Okay. <laughs> How you doing? These guys are dangerous.
Now, we all know the majority of the cheaters out here are are Russian, okay? <laughs> Let's just, <laughs> how you doing, okay? <laughs> the majority of them are Russian, okay? Anyone ever heard of this guy uh, named QP? QP, you know, I don't know how to say the rest of this guy's name, but... um. Maybe the guy's name is QP Exercised QP. <laughs> the name needs work, okay? I can't <laughs> and I can't help him with that. How you doing, okay? <laughs> now this guy, he's a blatant, and I mean blatant, blatant on stream cheater which seems to be a uh a trend these days how you doing you can okay <laughs> now if you look around the boat if you look at what he's wearing i mean it's clear as day this guy's using skin changer okay look at the iron on this on this cannonball that gold trim that's gotta be some skin changer shit all right so he runs into sneaky we all know Sneaky with his big community montage that he has out right now. Go check that out. So, Sneaky's trying to get on. He can't quite get on. Can't quite seal the deal. They come to terms. Okay, they sign a treaty, right? <laughs> Russia signs a treaty. <laughs> Signing a treaty with England over here, okay? And, uh... They come to terms that it's that a camp war TDM is going to go down. All right, let's take a look at what I'm talking about here. Oh, good. Okay, good, good. good. Они, видишь, он сбоку пытается делать, они на лету улетают. Убивай, то есть. Три раза посрал и все. Здорово. 
Сука. Быстрая перезарядочка, быстрая. Explicit confirmation of the cheating of the player. What is the thing? Did you know? Now, I am honestly pretty excited to see what this anti-cheat, what Rare is actually going to be doing about this. It's supposed to be coming out soon. Um, I mean, I have high hopes. But of course, when it comes to Rare, you really never know what to expect these days, okay? They try and fix thing and things, and things just end up more broken than they were in the beginning. How you doing? All right? So, uh, we will see. There's an update coming out here in a couple days, followed by some more updates, and we'll see just how broken they leave the game with all this uh with all this anti-cheat stuff including the removal of double gunning and all that right there they're they're putting in an entire section for people to get to level 40 without fucking having to really try and without having to be attacked you know like that's the wrong way to go about things just put the fucking arena back in and fucking let all the competitive players go in there why are you building a fucking mcdonald's playhouse for a bunch of fucking morons you know, where it's a pretend, it's like a pretend experience, you know, like you're, you're so worried about new players and the experience they get. What about the people that have been loyal to you for the last fucking five years? What about us? Why can't we get what we're asking for? Say you're bringing in a, t a team to work on hit registration, put that same team on the fucking duty for fucking arena. Right? Once they're done with the hit reg, go fucking go go work on the arena. Bring that back. Why am I using fucking uh storage space on some zero to level forty shit that doesn't benefit me at all? All you guys are coming out with is fucking tall tales, fucking adventures, all this stupid shit no one fucking gives a shit about. And you're just pretty much you're showing the veteran players that have been loyal to you spend money and are hoping for a better future in the game. You're just letting us down. You're not showing your loyalty to us that we show to you. It's, it's getting old. 
you know, I really only play the game once or twice a week at this point. And it's always the same shit. Like, my friends don't want to fucking play it because the hit registration doesn't work. My friends don't want to play because the fucking arena ain't in here. Instead, we're, we're wasting time, money, and resources on fucking making sure some fucking snowflake fucking preschooler has a fucking good experience bullshitting wasting an hour on each fucking island not really learning how to defend themselves it's a waste of fucking resources dude stop pissing off the main player base and catering towards some motherfuckers that may or may not get hooked on the game it's pathetic that's gonna do it my name is Magellan, leader of the Pirate Mafia, manager of Rule and Salt, C Pup of Defiance, chief editor and consultant of Defiance. Okay. Hope you guys like the new little logo, the new little overlay. Um, I'll flash that for you so you guys see which one I'm talking about. Um I'm digging that. I'm liking that. We're gonna try and get that in a couple more colors and uh and keep it uh try and keep the quality up um here on the stream gonna be trying to add some things here for the holiday season so we'll see what's up drop a sub um leave a comment leave a like um just don't copyright strike the video cution okay <laughs> how you doing <laughs>